Hey guys, Ivan here. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna talk about Nick Walker and uh, who is gonna be his new coach and sponsor. So you guys must know that he ended things with Revive and with Matt Jensen. It is official now. Nick confirmed it. Matt confirmed it. It is done. Uh, yeah, Nick made that video and his statement was that him and, and Matt are gonna keep working together until the wheels fall off and it seems like the, those wheels fell off really fast. So these guys are done. But you know what? That's fine. It happens all the time. How many bodybuilders stay with one coach their entire career? It almost never happens. And the reasons for ending these relationships may differ. So sometimes it's a lack of success as far as competition, which definitely wasn't the case with these two guys. But sometimes it's simply not seeing eye to eye for some reason. And apparently these two guys didn't click. And of course, Matt uh, is a part owner of Revive, so he, he lost the sponsor as well. Now, as far as Nick finding a new sponsor, that's not something we need to talk about. He's just gonna pick the best offer, because he is that wanted right now. Everybody is probably trying to grab him, and they are surely offering him some great deals, so he will just, um, you know, accept the best offer. And I'm sure it's not gonna be only based on money, like Big Remy did, for example. He accepted the offer from Enhanced Labs, ran by Tony Huge, the Enhanced Athlete. You know, those guys are very controversial. So that probably wouldn't be the best idea for, for Nick. But, you know, Big Remy probably did it because of money. And that's fine, I mean, he needs money, of course. He doesn't really have a lot of other revenues. He pretty much does nothing except for competing at the Mr. Olympia. He doesn't have like an active social media, YouTube, Instagram, nothing, it's all pretty much dead. So, of course, he went for money. And as far as Nick, he has a lot of revenue streams, he has a lot of sponsors, not supplement sponsors, but he has other sponsors as well. So he doesn't have to rush, you know, with, with picking a new sponsor. He can maybe go the entire year without a sponsor if he wants to, I'm sure he can. So, the coach, that's the important part, that's more important, especially for us, the fans, because that's going to determine how he's going to look at his next competition, and his next show is going to be the Mr. Olympia. Which coach should Nick Walker hire? Now, a lot of great coaches, top coaches, are already working with the top Olympians. So the Mr. Olympia winner, Big Ravi, is coached by Chad Nichols. And I felt like that's most likely the best idea for Nick, because Chad has a way with big guys, right? I mean, he, he worked with Nasrell somebody, and he did great with him. He worked with Ronnie Coleman, of course, the biggest of them all, probably. And now he's working with Big Remy, and Big Remy is the Mr. Olympia winner. Chad is the one who actually got him, not really shredded, but in a good shape while keeping him big. So he has a way with big guys, you know, keeping them big and, and also conditioned. So maybe, maybe he would have similar success with Nick. I mean, creating Ronnie Coleman makes Chad Nichols arguably the best coach in the history of bodybuilding. But what about Hanny Rambert? I mean, that guy has 20 Olympia wins. Seven with Phil Heath. He also has Jeremy Buendia and Man's Physique. He coached Jay Cutler when he came back and won the Mr. Olympia in 2009, bringing his best shape ever, and also 2010 when he won it for the fourth time. He is also the coach of the current 212 champ, Derek Lansford. He's coaching Hadi Chupan. And there are some rumors. I don't know where this is coming from, but I'm seeing more and more guys commenting saying that there is some talk about Hani and Nick working together. I don't know, where did you guys get this from? If you have any information, tell me in the comment section down below. But what do I think? How would these two guys click? Would that be a good combination? I think so. I think it would be a great combination. Because, I mean, Han is that good of a coach, and Nick is, like, at the top level. So why not? Why not help him reach the very pinnacle? But... Hani is coaching Hadi Japan, and Hadi is third at the Mr. Olympia, and a lot of people actually had him winning it, beating Big Remy and Brandon Curry. So these two guys are the only guys that he needs to worry about, but if his coach helps Nick Walker, Nick Walker might surpass Hadi. It's gonna be tough, but it might happen. Nick is much younger, so who knows, maybe Hadi wouldn't be okay with this. 
and Honey Rambot probably wouldn't do this without Hadi's permission, because he worked with Phil Heath before he worked with Jake Cutler, and these guys were competitors, and Phil Heath okayed it, he was okay with Honey starting to coach Jay, which probably wasn't the best move from Phil, you know, if he didn't do that, maybe he would win the Mr. Olympia sooner, but he did what he did, anyways, the point is, uh, Honey talked about Phil okaying it, so he probably would like Hardy to say he's fine with that. You also have Chad Nichols coaching Big Grammy. Maybe Big Grammy wouldn't like Chad to coach another Mr. Olympia finalist, Nick Walker, who is also breeding on all of these guys' necks in the top five. So he can win the Mr. Olympia. Maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but you know, soon it might happen. Then you have also in the top five Hunter Labrada, and you have. Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry is coached by Abdullah, but Abdullah is not stationed in the US, he is working over there in Kuwait, and Brandon, he goes over there, he preps over there in the, in the oxygen gyms, so Abdullah gets to take a look at him, and so I don't think Nick would hire somebody from the Middle East, right? And you also have Hunter Labrada, who is coached by, I can't even remember who is he coached by, I don't think it's a, it's a high... A profile coach but then out of top five in the sixth spot you had William Bonek who wasn't able to train two weeks prior to Mr. Olympia if everything was perfect for him would Nick Walker actually beat him hmm, I don't think so I don't think so it was close uh, like this and and William wasn't able to train he had so much stress in the last two weeks so uh, William is also a big threat and he is currently coached by Abdullah then you also have in top 7, actually at the 7th spot, uh, Ian Valier, who is coached by Patrick Tour, also a good coach. He started to become very popular recently, but you know, he had a couple of failures. Like with James Hollins at the Mr. Olympia, that was an absolute miss. Like a horrible, horrible miss. Something that pretty much never happens to Matt Jensen. Dennis Wolf also talked about Patrick Tour completely messing him up. Carlos Thomas Jr. was also coached by Patrick Tour, and in the final two weeks he, he switched coaches. So there is something fishy about Patrick. Uh, him and Ian are making great success, but Nick is on a very high level and he probably wouldn't risk it going with somebody who has a record of inconsistency. Surprisingly enough, Chris Asito is not coaching anybody in the top uh, 8, but at the 8th spot you had Justin Rodriguez, who is coached by AJ Sims. Now this guy is kind of high profile, not exactly like the other guys that I mentioned, but he's getting there. He has great results with Justin and some other guys, so maybe that would be a good idea for Nick as well. And Chris Asito, he has no clients in the top 8 at the Mr. Olympia. So maybe that would be a good choice for Nick. Chris Asito is one of the top coaches, arguably the best coach in the world, many people did consider him the best coach in the world for a while, I mean, he created pretty much Jay Cutler, he started working with him since the very early days, he helped uh, Sean Roden win the Mr. Olympia, he helped a ton of pro bodybuilders, I don't think any of these coaches work with so many pro bodybuilders, I think I would put him in top 3 all-time best coaches, him, Han Ramba, and Chad Nichols, right? I don't know, but uh, apparently Chris Asito has nobody right now at the top of the Mr. Olympia. So maybe he would be a good option for Nick Walker. Anyways, I have no information about what Nick's move is gonna be. As soon as I find out, I will post it as a news. But this was just speculation. So guys, tell me your opinion. What do you think? Who would work well with Nick Walker? Who would he click with? Which coach? Which girl? Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye-bye.